Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. A Clinton Township woman missing since just before Christmas has been found safe. Police confirming that they have located 34-year-old Rebecca Warford in Detroit. Rebecca disappeared on December 22nd in the area of 16 Mile and Gratiot. Police are not yet releasing any other information at this time. Michigan State University Federal Credit Union is warning members about some suspicious activity detected on some of their accounts. The credit union posted this statement on Facebook saying it's working with card processors to block the suspicious transactions before they happen. However, anyone whose account experiences a fraudulent transaction will not be liable for that charge. We're told members impacted will receive an alert by phone, email or text. All right, let's get a check of your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Jay Rexroth with your seven first alert forecast. We've got one more mild day here on Friday, although I'll tell you 45 is in the middle of the day. It starts to slip a little bit by the end of the afternoon. Uh, there'll be clouds, a little drizzle, uh, maybe a sprinkle from time to time. And then Saturday as we cool off, there's a pretty good chance for some snow. This could be an inch or two. However, most of that would stick more on the grass than on the roads with temperatures above the freezing mark all day long. On Sunday, late in the day, a little quick hit of a half an inch or so. And then Tuesday, as it cools down, another chance for snow. If we get that, that could be another inch or two, but that's got a better chance to affect the roads because of the colder temperatures. All right, thank you so much, Rexy. Ann Arbor's controversial deer call begins Thursday in parks, natural areas, and on some private land. A city contractor will hunt up to 150 deer. Supporters say decreasing the deer population will limit car crashes and protect the ecosystem, but critics say the deer will just repopulate. This is the fifth year for the deer call. Many city parks will close at three every day through January 26th. Well, those are your seven action news headlines. We have those stories and a whole lot more on our website at WXYZ.com and of course our seven app. Have a great night.